So hello guys, in this video we're going to talk about geometric series. So geometric series is the sum of terms of a geometric sequence. So kung binigyan tayo ng sequence and we are asked to solve for the sum of its terms, then we are going to use this formula. So may dalawang formula na gagamitin kapag binigyan tayo ng geometric series. So yung unang formula, this is for finite geometric series, and yung pangalawa is for infinite geometric series. At kung titingnan natin, actually, may restriction sa formula. So sa unang formula is that yung common ratio daw ay hindi dapat 1. So we cannot solve for a geometric series with a common ratio of 1. Bakit? Kung 1 ang common ratio at kung isa-substitute kasi natin si 1 dito in place of R, magiging 0 yung denominator. And kung i-input mo ang number with a 0 denominator sa calculator, your calculator will say math error. So, kumbaga parang wala bang sagot. Okay? Dito naman, ang restriction niya is that the absolute value of R should be less than 1. Hindi dapat siya mag exceed sa 1. So, pag-uusapan natin yan later on. So, let's have some sample problems. Find the sum of the first 7 terms of the geometric sequence negative 5, 10, negative 20, 40, and so on. So, this uh, problem is asking us to solve the sum of the first 7 terms. So, yung binigay lang sa sequence na to is yung first 4. So, we need solve for the sum of the first 7. Since na-indicate dito kung ilang terms ang i-add natin, we are going to use the first formula. So, that is a finite geometric sequence. So, to do that, we are going to substitute the given. Since we are asked to solve for the first 7 terms, so 7 terms ang pag-add natin dito, we are going to substitute 7 in place of n. Ang a sub 1 natin, or the first term, is actually negative 5. 1 minus the common ratio. Always remember, guys, for us to solve for the common ratio, kumuha ng dalawang magkasunod na terms, we divide the second term by the first term. That is 10 divided by negative 5. So the common ratio is negative 2. We use parentheses. Ang n natin ay 7. Sa baba, 1 minus the common ratio is negative 2. And actually, pwede na tong idiretso sa calculator. So if I'm going to input this in the calculator, the answer will be negative 215. So kung pag-add natin yung first seven terms ng geometric sequence ito, ang sagot ay negative 215. So let's have one more example. Find the value of the infinite geometric series 4 plus 2 plus 1 and so on. Since ang halagay na infinite at walang na-indicate kung ilan yung terms na i-add natin, we are going to use the second formula. So napakadali lang yan. So the sum of the terms of the sequence ay, kunin yung first term, ang first term natin dito ay 4, 1 minus yung r natin or the common ratio, paano ulit ang pagkuha? We get 2 consecutive terms, divide the second term by the first term. So the common ratio here is 2 over 4, and that is actually 1 half. So we are going to substitute 1 half in place of r. At guys, napakadaling i-calculator to. Sa calculator, ang sagot dito ay 8. So kung pag a natin lahat ng numbers sa sequence na to, so kung mapapansin nyo kasi yung mga numbers, yung terms, paliit ng paliit. So we can actually add them. Let's have the last example. Find the value of the infinite geometric series 4 plus 12 plus 36, well, and so on. This is an infinite geometric series. And yung formula for infinite geometric series ay ganito. Okay. So kung isa-substitute natin, tingnan natin kung ano yung makukuha nating value. So the common ratio here is, so 12 divided by 4 is 3. And 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And the answer here is actually negative 2. 
So, uh, sa sagot pa lang, alam na natin na mali. Kasi, you are adding numbers, positive numbers. Tapos, when you use the formula, yung lumabas na sagot ay negative 2. Which is wrong. Kasi kung titingnan mo, pataas na pataas yung number. At kung pag adin ba ang mga number na yan, ang sagot ay negative 2? Well, it's impossible. Kung babalikan natin yung formula, may restriction kasi na the common ratio should be less than 1. Ang common ratio kasi dito ay 3. Hindi na-satisfy yung condition. We have here a condition at violate nito ang condition. So we cannot actually add a geometric sequence na pataas ng pataas. Imagine mo, you are adding numbers that are increasing and increasing without bound. Meron kayang sagot yon. Well, actually, there is, and that is infinity. But we don't know that number. So uh, we cannot really determine the sum of this geometric series. So ganun po ha. If we are given a finite geometric series, we use this formula. Kapag ka-infinite, we use this formula. Pero magagamit lang natin ang formula na to kung ang infinite geometric uh, series ay decreasing. Okay? So that's it for today. Thank you again for watching.